let me put it like this. Everything that you own, everything that you will ever own, you have put your whole everything out there just to make a crop. But now, you can't put a farmer out of business unless he wants to go out. That's the fit, that's, that's how resilient a farmer is. We got a lot of cockroach in us. You, you, you can turn the light on, step on us if you want to, and you walk away, we will get up and we will crawl off. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be at another bank before you know it. <laughs> Getting the money to put a crop in. Started farming on my own in 1997, straight out of high school. Wheat crop, 97 bushels to the acre. Wheat beans, five bushels to the acre. 1998, that's a prank rub. I believe we're all put on this earth to do something. And the farm, you definitely gotta be put on this earth to do it. So, um, no, people people don't understand. They 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 see the new tractor that costs five hundred thousand. Or if they don't know and they see the tractor and they say, Man, that's a good looking tractor. How much something like that cost? Five hundred grand. That's more than my house. Well, I got two or three of them. But, you know, us farmers, we walk around like that doesn't bother us. So, um, it's, why should it? <laughs> you gotta have it. So, you know, but people don't understand it. That's why I said, um, you gotta, you gotta be born to do this. You just don't, you just don't wake up and say, I want to go farm. And that's what I tell young, young, the younger generation that they say that they want to farm. I tell them, just don't don't go after it because you think you want to go after it. If you wanted to go after it, you wouldn't be telling me that you want to. You would be asking me how to because you already got some movement or involvement in it. So if you want to wreck yourself, go on out there and, and try it. I've never worked a day in my life. Farming, I've, I've never worked a day in my life. I, and I, I love it. I do it. I feel like when God popped me out, that's what I was popped out to do. So, um, bad year, it was a bad one. I mean, it was a bad year. That's how long it lasts. It lasts a planting and harvest season. It lasts a growing season. That's how long it lasts. Shake it off because you got to go again. I don't freak out. Mostly because uh, I believe in Chung. And I think partially because I've been without. And so I'm not a stranger to uh, struggle. Um, when we... <laughs> When we said our marriage vows, uh, when we got to the richer or poorer part, Sean wouldn't say poor. Um, he would say for richer or for richer. And then when it was my turn, he corrected me in front of everybody, made sure I said the same. Um, so we are different in that as aspect that he doesn't even entertain the thought of not being successful where um, I, I'm not going to say I deal more in reality, but I definitely... Um, understand that there are times when that may not necessarily be the case and I'm already in like I'm already there mentally like if if that if we needed to figure stuff out I, I'm already there so I don't worry about it per se um, it doesn't even cross my mind really five minute millionaire it means you have gathered your crop you have got your crop checks. You are a millionaire. Come on down. And it means you're fixing to walk in your banker's office and you're fixing to hand him all of it. <laughs> and then you're gonna ask him for some more. But here's the here's here's the here's the, the trick side of it. And this is cheers to the bankers out there that it's kind of like the old joke that I paid on, on my banker. I got some good news for you, and I got some bad news for you. And she said, well, let me hear it. And I told her, I said, the bad news is 
I can't, uh, I'm not going to be able to pay my whole note off this year. And she's like, well, we can work with that. And she's like, well, tell me the good news. I said, I'm going to bank with you one more time. <laughs> so even though if we don't pay it all off or pay at it, we're going to pay at it. And then we're going to ask you for some more money. So that's what Five Minute Millionaire means. People ride by your house. They ride by your, your farm. Um, and then they see your equipment. Or you may be somewhere and this is this is a this is just a thing that farmers do they might hear us talking about going to tunica or a casino somewhere or to a poker game somewhere and how much we won or we lost in the game and we're laughing about it but you got to remember who you're talking to you're talking to a lifelong gambler it's what we do we gamble and so there again not the love of money we really don't have that money is a necessary evil for us so uh when i think people just being people and looking on uh looking in from the outside they have no idea what it takes to run a farm operation and uh we're not we're not talking about a couple hundred thousand dollars to run an operation um we're talking in the upwards of the seven figure to run an operation. So I can understand people can't grasp that. They they can't see that. That's 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 too much for them to to absorb. I have an old soul and, and I enjoy sitting and talking to the to the older men. And uh you know, older men have phrases that sometimes you, you can't catch them and, and one that was thrown at me was heap see but few know. And um, after hearing it a couple of times, and, and I had to ask, you know, what does that mean? And so when, when it was explained to me, I went, ah. And so, you know, in our lives that we live, um, people look at me, look at her, and... Uh, they they categorize us. They they look at what we got, um, but they don't really understand or know the story behind um, where we are and what happened to define who we are. Um, for me, bankruptcy, early age, bankruptcy. For me, it was financial struggle. For me, it was going to Costco eating lunch because they had the samples out there because I didn't have money to 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 buy lunch. Um, for me, it was it was old tractors, old equipment. Um, I mean, 1970s stuff, man. Um, so, you know, a lot of people see that now heap see what it is now new truck new car decent equipment they see that now but they didn't see it then because they wasn't paying attention i was i was there i was there i was struggling you just didn't see me so heap see but few know that's what it means i was born by the river in a little tent and just like the river, I've been running ever since. <laughs> ever since. That is a sexy voice right there. That's the, that's the serenade me. That's the rock me, baby. You sit outside yeah. my window singing like that, I'm going to close it. <laughs>